everyone welcome to the 10th lecture of reinforced cement concrete in this video we're going to see about singly reinforced sections in working stress method so let's get started and before we start i would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it so firstly let us see what is a singly reinforced section so it is a type of beam and in the beam we will have steel only at the bottom why we provide steel only at the bottom because uh, say this is my beam it is a fixed beam and I give a point load and the deflection is going to be like this which means the top is going to be in compression the bottom is going to be in tension so only in the tension side we will provide uh, steel that is the reason why we pro provide steel at the bottom so singly reinforced sections they have steel only in the tension zone whereas we have other type of section called double reinforced or doubly reinforced and in that case we will have stirrups at the top also but usually inside we will not have singly reinforced sections uh, even though uh, if the singly reinforced sections satisfy the need we will go for rods at the top so that we can tie them together so a working stress method hasn't been asked much in GATE or ESC or uh, even SSCJE or even state PSUs. They ask mostly about limit state method. So we're going to see only the concepts in the working stress method so that even if they ask questions, we, be, we will be able to dodge it and answer. So firstly, uh, let us look into the type of questions that can be asked. So the first type of question they can ask is uh, to find whether the section is cracked or not. The second one is uh, to find uh, the moment of resistance called as MOR and third one I'm sorry it's not that much visible I'm changing the color here and the third one uh, is uh, to design to see whether it's cracked or not they will uh, give you the moment that is being applied and also the AST and you just have to find whether it's cracked or not and in MOR, that is the moment of resistance, they will just give you the AST and the section, which resistance this section will be able to take. Next is to design, so they will give you the load alone and you have to arrive at the dimensions and you have to arrive at the AST also. It is very easy, we will see everything now. So starting with whether the section is cracked or not. So I have steel here and this is my concrete, area of concrete. This is my area of steel. So I have these things. I have to find whether and I have my moment that is being applied. And for this given moment, say M given. For this given moment, I have to find whether the given section is cracked or not. So the first step I'm going to do is transformation. I'm going to transform this section. Why? Because... Firstly, we are going to find whether it is cracked or not and how we are going to find that is we are going to find the permissible stresses. So we know that uh, beam fails in flexure, right? And what is the maximum flexure a concrete grade can take? We have a formula. We have seen it in previous videos uh, in the hardened properties of concrete. So the maximum tensile stress that it can take in bending is 0.7 times root FCK. So I already know the properties of my concrete. With that I can find what is my stress, ultimate tensile stress at bending. I can find it. So this is my critical stress. And I'm going to take this as my benchmark. This is the stress that this section of this concrete can take. Now I'm going to find what type of stress is produced in this section. So in order to find the stress I have this form formula. We have bending equation, right? M by I is equal to sigma by Y. So sigma I have to find it. M I already know. And I and Y I can arrive at it from this section. But the problem is this section, right? This section, it is made up of two materials. It is concrete and this is steel. And you, it is difficult to find the centroid Y and the moment of inertia I when we have two materials. Therefore, we are going to convert this section fully into concrete. How will we do that? So I have this, this is my section, I have my steel here, so I'm going to convert this. I'm going to transform this into a concrete only structure. 
so I can simply use modular ratio so we can find the area the corresponding area of concrete just from the modular ratio so I'm going to transform this so this is my section I'm going to provide extra concrete here and also there's going to be holes here right these holes are also filled with concrete so all these things it is filled with concrete so the amount of or the area of concrete that I'm going to need is called as M times area of steel if I just multiply modular ratio with the area of steel I can find the area that is needed here so now this M A S T right it is a combination of both these two rectangles and also the these circular areas covered by space but for for design purposes for calculation reasons I am going to find only the area of this alone because so that I can uh, consider this as a whole section and this as another section it will be easy for me to compute my y and i therefore I am going to find what is the area of steel uh, I mean the area of concrete in these two blocks alone how can I get it I know this is the area of steel so I can just minus AST from here this will give me the area of this part so that is why we get the formula we would have learned it in our semesters so that is why we get the formula it is M minus 1 times AST that is the area of transformed concrete in these two rectangles right this, that is why it is called as M minus 1 AST so I have transformed my section which was like this so like this so from this I can get my Y it is pretty easy it's just uh, your strength of materials you can get Y you can get I now coming to a moment equation it is M by I is equal to Sigma by Y I need to find the Sigma Sigma is equal to M Y just cross multiplying by I so I already know M I know Y I know I from this I'll get my Sigma that is the stress produced in this concrete for the given moment and the section properties so now that I have got this I already told you what is sigma critical which is 0 0.7 times root fck so I'm going to compare my sigma and sigma critical if the stress pro, uh, in this section is greater than sigma critical then my section has cracked if it is less than sigma critical then my section is not cracked yeah that easy that's a special case if my section is cracked if my section is cracked they may ask me to find the stresses in concrete and steel FSE is stress in concrete and this is stress in steel so let's see how we can do that so this is my section this time this has cracked I already know this has cracked because my sigma is greater than sigma critical so this has already cracked so say this is my neutral axis the crack mostly arises at the neutral axis therefore say this is my transformed section this time uh, say my crack is going to occur here so any section below this it's not that useful therefore I'm not going to draw outs and all I'm going to just convert it here the steel it is converted into AST I'm simply converting it to MAST that's it so I have my section I have my steel this part is not useful because it has cracked here only this part is going to take the load now so this is my useful part this is not the useful part so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that this is XU is the distance of my neutral axis so XU is the distance of neutral axis I'm going to draw the stress diagram now this is my level of steel so it's like this So this is XU and this stress here it will be FSC that is stress in concrete because concrete at the top fiber it is compression bottom it is tension therefore top it will be FSC at the bottom it will be FST 